Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. I would like to say good morning to all of you in the name of the City Council. I know you are very special people. You are responsible for a lot of what is going on on Wikipedia, which I would call a miracle of intelligence and generosity. So you are very special people, and we are very happy to welcome you here. As a city council, we did everything we could do in order to make this event possible. The tunnel you can see here was done for you, built for you. The horrible stairs you can see behind you was built for your safety. <laughs> in every venue, I think you will find things that have been made in order to make it possible. We are very proud of having you here, and we hope that this week will be wonderful for you, but you will maybe come back in a few years, in a few days, in a few weeks, and say, I was there. You are giving the village a lot, because we are very proud of having you here, and we do wish that you also will get a lot from our hospitality. Thank you very much and enjoy your week. Oops. Hi everyone, um, I'll be very quick. I'm Jean Evra, I'm the chair of the program committee, so welcome. Actually, I did not do anything for the hackathon, and for this reason, uh, I like the hackathon very much. So I'll just leave the stage to the people behind uh, all of this. Let's make them a big applause, maybe, because they work a lot. And uh, have fun, hack well, do a lot of amazing things for uh, Wikipedia and all the other projects and uh, I leave the mic to Simone. Thank you. Hi everybody. Believe it or not, I am the technical chair of this conference. Welcome to Winterfell. Uh, <laughs> I've been learning that Wikimania is uh, like just is like the Game of Thrones. You win or you die and we hope to get at the end like as winners. Well, we'll, we'll see. Technical notes. Um, we tried to set up the school in a way where you will in a, in, a, in a manner where uh, we will have uh, enough plugs for each of you. If you need extra plugs, please don't remove the plugs. Just let us know. We can provide you with additional ones. Uh, all ports will be open, so you shouldn't be have any problem with ports or uh, anything like that. But if you do have, you let me know. Bandwidth, bandwidth wise, we have been uh, uh, securing like a special uh, chunk of, of, of our bandwidth just for you guys, so you shouldn't have any problem with the bandwidth either. If you need Ethernet cable access, you will find it in room 50 or in the hall, room uh, 11, I guess. Um, of course, I'll be there, so if you need to plug your, uh, your computers to the Ethernet for some reason, you just let me know and I can show you the routers. Enjoy! Hey everyone, uh, my name is Rachel Ferran. I work for the Wikimedia Foundation and I'm here helping these guys organize the hackathon. Um, really excited to be here in Asino Lario. We're in excellent hands with the Asino Lario team. Everything's been amazing so far. Um, I'm not as good as they are, so I need my notes to make sure I don't forget anything. Um, so first I want to introduce the organizing team. So uh, I'm one of the main organizers. Um, Simone there uh, is one of the main organizers. Nick Wilson there is one of the main organizers, and so is Zebrand here in the front. Um, we're the people that you can approach with questions about the hackathon. Um, so next, what's going to happen during this opening is that Nick and I will give a little bit more logistics information. Zebrand uh, will talk to you a little bit, bit about the showcase, and then everybody here in the audience who wants to will have the opportunity to come up on stage and either present their project, present their session, uh, give any general information out to the group that you want. Anything that you want to say to everyone else at the hackathon about working on projects, you're welcome to come up at the end of this, and then we will head back to the school and start hacking. Um, so the friendly space policy is something that everyone has agreed to uh, who registered for this event. 
Um, people that you can report friendly space policy, policy violations to are Kim here in the front. Um, it's okay? Ah, okay. <laughs> um, Seabrick here in the front. Um, Simone, who you saw. Uh, Nick, myself, or anyone on the Asino Lario organization team. Uh, sorry, sorry, too loud. Um, so you can do that by email or by um, in person, whatever you're more comfortable with. Um, and we're happy to help in any way that we can. If you're not familiar with the policy, please make sure to read it again. Um, so um, there are no photos lanyards. Um, they're the green color, um, you can see. Uh, we're taking no photos pretty seriously here at this event. At our last event, we had one participant with a no photos lanyard find three posted photos of themselves online uh, with their no photos badge visible. Um, so please do your best to um, respect the green lanyard. And uh, there's a room in the hackathon that's a 24 hour hacking space that's also a no photos at any time of people space. So if you decide to sit there, please do not take photos in that room. Um, we will have a help desk at the school at the hackathon where anybody can come for help uh, with anything having to do with the hackathon, finding people, using Fabricator, understanding the schedule. Please come to our help desk and talk to us. Um, all participants of the hackathon can add sessions to the program. Um, so anyone who wants to run a session, as long as there's space, you can run it. Uh, there's instructions on the wiki on how to set up your, your uh, scheduled session. Um, and if you need help, you can come to the hackathon desk. We don't have a printed program because the schedule changes so regularly. So please um, reload the program page on the hackathon page uh, regularly to make sure you don't miss anything. Um, a couple more points. Uh, we have a feedback survey this year. Everyone who attends Wikimania will get a link to that. It's really helpful if you do fill it out for us. I'll give you some examples of some things that we changed from last year for this year based on the information we got out of the feedback survey. Um, so we're offering video recording for sessions. You can approach us. We have one um, assigned person to record videos and we can uh, record your session. Um, also, we're giving people the opportunity to pitch their projects during the opening. That's something we didn't do last year and was requested to be done this year. Uh, things that we kept from last year that we tried out based on the feedback survey. 24-hour uh, hacking space throughout all of Wikimania. Woo! Woo! Um, and the showcase. Uh, that was a really big hit last year, too. Um, things that we left behind based on the feedback survey was the buddy system. It had a really, really low participant uh, participation rate. Um, and so if you really miss it and want it to come back next year, then just let us know. Um, so we have a lot of newcomers at this event, people who have never been to a hackathon before and or identify as a Wikimedia newcomer. Uh, hopefully you saw emails about this with a lot of things to do. But ways that you can help us today, just monitor WM Hack on IRC. That's where we'll be asking questions and trying to connect people with each other. Um, hang out with us at the help desk um, so you can answer questions from newcomers. Uh, approach anyone who's around the hackathon who looks like they need help finding something to do and find projects and tasks for newcomers to do. Um, and then newcomers, just come and ask us. Uh, we're happy to help. And there's an entire track in the theater uh, that's basically aimed at helping newcomers. Um, it's introductory sessions about a lot of different topics related to Wikimedia Tech and, uh, and anything you might want to know. So hopefully you can join us there. Um, and uh, so one session I want to highlight, which is an experiment this year, is we have a panel of experienced Wikimedia developers who are holding a Q&A session. There's nothing scheduled for that session except for people, anybody, newcomers or not, to come and get answers to the questions about Wikimedia tech that they don't know, they can't find it online, or they haven't found a thorough answer online, or it's a confusing subject, and you really just don't fully understand why we're doing certain things. Um, anyone who 
is an experience we can begin is welcome to come help answer questions on that panel. We already have pre-scheduled six people to help. Um, and anyone who has a question, start thinking of them now. You'll get really in-depth answers. Uh, you can ask follow-up questions and uh, you'll have the opportunity to, yeah, just keep asking until you really understand the answer to your question. And then finally, one more note before I pass it off to Nick, is um, the bathrooms here do not have locks on the door and they are unisex bathrooms. So please knock on a door that's closed before entering it to avoid any mistakes here. Thank you. Hello everyone, I'm Nick, username Liquidity. Um, similar to the hackathon in Jerusalem, uh, we're emphasizing the wish list. The community wish list is a bunch of ideas that were suggested by a lot of community members and then voted and commented upon. Um, we had uh, really good work at the hackathon in Jerusalem, uh, promoting or uh, developing and moving forward a lot of really good ideas. Uh, it follows in the footsteps of the German wish list that's been running for a few years. It's been worked on by the German technical uh, community team. Um, you can check out some of the good ideas from, or some of the work that was done in Jerusalem at the wikimedia.org, wikimedia hackathon 2016 slash showcase page. Uh, there's a whole bunch of links and details. You can see what was done there. Uh, we're going to have a similar showcase page and showcase session on Saturday this week, uh, which Sebrin will explain a little bit about in a minute. Um, a few requests. If you're running a session or you're attending a session, please remember to take notes and then once the session is over, copy those notes into Fabricator so that everyone can see and keep up to date with what was happening. If you're uh, hacking on a project, please remember to keep updating the Fabricator task uh, with uh, any updated information about what's going on and link any patches to it so people can easily join in throughout the week. Um, and then so we can easily summarize what work was done at the end of the week so that everyone who wasn't able to attend can learn what was done and potentially join in in the weeks and months ahead. Uh, after the hackathon, check out the showcase page if you weren't able to see the showcase itself and see what everyone else was working on and then comment and help them work on it throughout the weeks and months ahead. Uh, now we're going to Sebrin to explain a little bit about the showcase. Hey everybody. Um, so, um, who's been to a showcase before? Ah. So half of you haven't been to a showcase before. Well, so a hackathon showcase is something that we introduced um, at uh, Wikimania in, um, in uh, at the hackathon in Lyon, and we did it at, uh, at the hackathon uh, after the hackathon in Mexico City. Uh, it is an event where we basically invite everyone, and at Wikimania it's great to have also non-technical people where you can show off what it is that you did and inform others about uh, your hacking, preferably in terms that your audience will understand. You have about three minutes, it's really fast paced. Uh, it's a good uh, idea to think about it. And uh, this year we have it on a Saturday uh, at six o'clock in the evening uh, in the school. Um, there's a briefing tomorrow at uh, three o'clock that you can attend if you would like help with your slides or with your storyline for that three minute presentation. Um, last year we had 23 presentations that we did in one hour or actually in 50 minutes. And it was super exciting and it was a really uh, informative format. Um, you can uh, sign up for a showcase slot, first come first served, uh, at uh, is.gd slash wm showcase 16, or you can search for showcase in fabricator task. Um, now it's back to Rachel and uh, you can pitch your exciting projects. Thank you. I will do my best to speak a little slower, sorry about that. Um, so now is the part of the program where all of you who want to can come up on stage uh, and talk about what you are working on. Um, what we're going to do is have everyone who uh, is willing to be on camera come first. Uh, then at the end we will shut the camera recording off. And anyone who has no photo is also welcome to present their project, no worries about that. 
Um, so if, if people who want to talk about their projects or sessions want to come line up over here, every single person here is welcome or you don't have to. So anyone who wants to start, let's go. Hi everyone, I'm James Forrester. I'm Lead Product Manager for Editing at the Foundation, and I care about editing, which hopefully some of you do too. So I care about anything you want to change about an editor, any bug you have with an editor, the software, not the people, and uh, <laughs> any improvements you want to make. In particular, I care about multimedia, visual editor, wiki text editor, and wiki source, if Thomas is here, no, ah, yes. We're looking to get Visual Editor on Wikisource done today or tomorrow. So if you want to hack on that, <laughs> mostly at this point it's merging and then testing. But you know, come along, break things. It'll be fun. Thank you. Hi, uh, I'm Lydia. I'm the product manager of Wikidata. And just as James loves editing, uh, I love doing things on Wikidata. Um, if any one of you wants to do cool things with uh, Open Data and Wikidata, um, come to me. We can find you a nice little project to um, get you started. Hello. Hi, I'm Yubi. Um, I work on the Two Labs team. Uh, so I'll be working on making the Two Labs experience better. Uh, so if anyone has a problem with their tool, uh, please come talk to me. Um, I'm also working on a newer method for people to get started very quickly, so where you can get a terminal from just your browser, logging in with your uh, normal Wikimedia account. Um, so anyone who wants to play with that for writing bots or just to see how it like, looks like, please come talk to me. Hi, I'm Gabriel from Wikimedia Germany. I'm from a technical wishlist team and uh, I will be at the hackathon to work on PDF rendering of wiki pages. There has been done amazing work by the offline content generator team and uh, there's a wish on the wishlist to improve that work. Uh, as some of you may know, tables are not rendered and at least we want to have some hint that there was a table in the original page and maybe we will even manage to put some of the tables in or find some other solutions. So if you like to work on that, uh, come to me. If you don't like to work on it uh, but have an opinion on uh, how tables should be rendered or how PDFs should be rendered, also come to me. And if uh, Scott is here, the original creator or the, the person responsible for the offline content generator, please contact me, I, I'll be uh, happy. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Leah, I'm the product manager from the German-speaking technical wish list and wish number one of the 2015 survey was to improve the edit conflict resolution, which means not the um, algorithm that's behind finding edit conflict, but more about solving the situation if you've actually like entered into an edit conflict. And based on the German community's feedback, we've come up with a suggestion how to improve like the edit conflict resolution page and we'd love to discuss this with the international community. So we are running a session tomorrow on Thursday at 11 o'clock and we're really happy to see if loads of you there. Hi, I'm Matt Flasher. Uh, I'll be leading, leading a session today on setting up MediaWiki Vagrant, which is a development environment people can use uh, for developing MediaWiki and MediaWiki extensions. So if you're starting out as a MediaWiki developer or just want to set up Vagrant, you should come to that. That will be today at 14.30. And uh, tomorrow I'm going to be uh, having a session on the code of conduct for technical spaces. Uh, that will be at uh, 1300 tomorrow. And we'll be talking about the code of conduct that we're working on, the status, and uh, discussing and answering questions. Uh, that's 1300 tomorrow, and they're both going to be in room 50. Thank you. Hi, 
Hi, I'm going with from the Foundation's Living Infrastructure team. Uh, we have just finished rewriting MediaWiki's authentication code uh, for the 1.27 release. So if you are maintaining an extension that uh, does something with user login, user sign up, uh, collecting guest data at sign up, then you need to update your extension to take advantage of that. So please come to the session, it's called Health Manager, and there you can learn how to do it. Right now I'm here for, so um, Martin and I are doing two sessions. First of all, um, we're doing a session on learning Lua. That's going to start right after this, so at 11.30, I think. And um, so we need, so it's going to be a short introduction and then a hands-on. Like if you ever wanted to write Lua modules, if you ever wondered how the syntax works, come and learn it with us. And if you know Lua, please come and help us out on teaching other people how to write cool fancy Lua modules. Can we have a show of hands? Can I have a show of hands who actually knows Lua? Who is actually comfortable with it? <laughs> and uh, who would like to learn it? Okay, that's much better. And uh, we have a set session after that, probably around lunch. Uh, it's about Sparkle. Sparkle is this new scary language you can use to query Wikidata. Uh, we're going to explain it a bit on how you can use it to actually get uh, nice information from Wikidata. And it's not that scary, you just have to learn it a bit. It's, it's a new language. I'm Amir. My main focus is uh, ORS, which is an AI infrastructure to, uh, to be used in the media, media project overall. The main focus is uh, my team against vandalism, which is um, have a better feature enabled in several wikis, and we can we want to and we can enable it for other languages. I have a session tomorrow if you want to participate at that. Uh, but uh, overall, if you want to know, is there any uh, new applications for ORS? Uh, if you want to suggest something or make a uh, by requ uh, feature request, just come and talk to me. I would be happy to help. Hi, I'm Daniel. Uh, so I'm going to be working uh, on some Wikimedia Commons user experience related stuff. Uh, so if you're interested in that, find me. So I'll be working on uh, improving the user experience for the spherical panoramic viewer. And uh, I hope I can prototype a uh, quick image feedback rating tool as well. So if you're interested, find me. Hi, I'm Gabriel from the foundation. Um, I'm uh, there to help you with the REST API and generally APIs. Uh, if you have any questions about uh, how to access content, how to modify content, how to save it back to Wikitext, um, come to me and talk to me. Um, I might be hacking on a service worker uh, API driven front end prototype, but uh, if I find time, it's going to be a small project. Thanks. Hello. I'm Susanna, and I rep representing a Wikimaps Warper IAG project. And a lot of things have happened around maps in in, well, in the Wikisphere lately. And we would like to uh, maybe uh, collect these things together. Uh, this is um, this Alvin and Babur, um, who are uh, sort of this uh, historical maps team here. Uh, and we are also interested in. Uh, Seeing how Wikidata things can be brought into the uh, into the well the same stoop, uh, how historical images can be geolocated, and how historical maps can be related, our historical place names uh, using Wikidata and such. So we are sort of uh, learning ourselves, but please come meet us. Thank you. Hello, I'm 
Markus Glaser from the MediaWiki Stakeholders Group. Um, and one of the needs we identified for uh, MediaWiki users outside of the Foundation's wikis is that extension management should be improved. Um, so I want to work with you together on um, ideas of how to improve extension management, how to make it easier to install extensions, maybe from a central store, um, and how we can design this and maybe start implementing some a bit of it. Hi, I'm uh, Darren Jan Hartman, we're a user the DJ, a volunteer developer. Um, over the past year I've been working a lot with audio and video for Wikipedia and Commons. Um, making quite a bit of progress together with Brian. Um, if you're interested in audio or video playback inside Wikimedia, um, come find me and um, we'll see if we can uh, improve it a bit more again this time. Wikidata, if you have any questions about that, you're of course also uh, welcome to talk to me. Right now I'm here to pitch a very crazy idea that uh, started in Jerusalem, which is uh, adding markdown support to MediaWiki. It's uh, a bit of an experiment um, for making MediaWiki more agnostic to what kind of content we support. Um, tonight there's actually going to be, so the the Wednesday RSC session on IRC tonight is going to be about this topic. Um, it's at 10 p.m. I think, which is a bit late and inconvenient. But uh, if you um, if you are online at that time, maybe have a look. But um, if you are interested in the topic, just come to find me, talk to me. Um, maybe we we can set up a session earlier in the day or tomorrow. Sweden, and we'll be working on migrating the Wikilovs Monuments data to Wikidata. So if you've been involved in any Wikilovs Monuments organization at any point, you know something about that data, then please find us. We'll be in one of the corridors in school. Uh, we'll also be improving the general tech behind Wikilovs Monuments, so the Python bot, the, um, the API, uh, and make, maybe making it ready to have the data in Wikidata. That would work. Um, so yeah, come back to us if you're into uh, Wikileaks Monuments. I also have a little side project. Last year at the Wikimedia Hackathon, we, we, we built a little something around revolving around a like, um, bingo grid, and it proved quite uh, popular during the, the plenaries. So we're probably improving the tech around this, so if you're interested, maybe like moving this project forward, uh, for synergies and everything, uh, come to talk to me or to Philip in the background. Thank you. Hello, I'm Ewan from the Wikimedia Foundation, and I happen to write a technical newsletter about things that happen in the Wikimedia space. So if you now or ever do something that affects how editors work with our wikis and want it mentioned across the wikis and wonder how you can do this, then please find me at some point during Wikimania and spend a few minutes talking to me. Thank you. Hello, I'm Benoit from the Community Listen team. Uh, yeah, Nick and uh, Joanna from that team too. Um, yeah, I have two sessions uh, dedicated not for tech users. So if you want to learn how to translate messages or translate tech news, for example, there is a session this afternoon and tomorrow there is a session about how to improve template data. Uh, you know that template data will be useful when you edit your wiki with the visual editor or with Flow. So if you have any question about that, the session is tomorrow. Thanks.
Hype, I'm Nicholas from the language team. So if you have any technical questions about the translation tools we have, please find me. And also, if you are working on some tool which has an interface that could be translated, I can help with that as well. Thank you. Hello, I'm Aubrey from the Wikisource user group. And uh, we will have a session about uh, Wikisource, all things related to Wikisource and, uh, and the hackathon in these two days. Please reach out to me, TPT or the Nicola. We are, we are, we are, there are a lot of us, so please, if you're interested. We also work, we will work uh, with the integration from, of uh, Wikisource and Wikidata. Okay, thank you. Hello, my name is Ian Gd, and if any of you are interested in graphic design, illustration, or vector graphics, uh, please look for me. Uh, I'll be running a session with Shia Mal on Saturday on uh, SVGs, and I'll be giving a talk on Saturday as well. So uh, come and join us. Thank you. Hi folks, I'm Andy Mabbott. My username is Pigs on the Wing. I feel I'm a fraud here because I'm not a coder, I'm not a developer, and I'm not even going to suggest that we do anything to change any of the projects hosted by the Wikimedia Foundation. But I do see a need, I see a need for a WordPress plugin that turns WordPress tags into representations of things that we have items for in Wikidata. So if I tag a post in WordPress, Paris, do I mean Paris in France, or Paris in Texas, or a person whose name is Paris? So do we have any WordPress plugin developers here? No? One maybe? Okay, one or two? If you would like to talk to me about how I see that plugin working, and you would like to make that plugin and take all the credit for it, please come and talk to me afterwards. Thank you. Hello everyone, I'm Vieva Andre, and um, I won't pitch a project here I'm working on or something, but if uh, you still don't have a good idea what to work on and want to get an overview, of, a high level overview of technical areas that you can contribute to, um, there's a session in about half an hour uh, where there's an introduction to all these different areas, very high level. And in case you already have your own idea what to work on and you wonder if there's anybody else around uh, who, who might be active in that area, uh, feel free to come to me. Uh, I hope I can point you to some people, so just ask me, thanks. Okay, before we finish up here, is there anyone who would like to present something without being recorded on video? Okay, well that wraps up the opening of the hackathon. Thank you so much for coming over here. This is the last time that the hackathon will be in this space. Um, so we're going to be in the school and the theater which are on the other side of town for the rest of the hackathon. And uh, sessions start at 11.30 and we'll see you there. <laughs>